Mandalorian. Whoa. Wow. Here awesome. we are, everyone. The... We, we made it. Isn't it a strange it. journey we're on after that last episode? What's going to happen next? Will there be more I characters? No idea. Yes. <laughs> I think there will be... I think two there will be new characters, characters, and they will both suck. Oh, I was hoping potentially. Wait, 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 wait. Potentially, <gasps> three new Whoa. characters that will all suck. Oh. We're uh, overdue for a, a proper cameo, aren't we? Well, we got Pershing. That was kind of like a cameo. That was episode three. Episode four, we didn't have any cameos. That's true. One episode without a cameo is pretty wild. Episode 4 was so funny. <laughs> the state of Star mm. Wars. We've got an entire episode without a cameo. What a... Oh my god. What the hell do we do? They have like a, a glass box on the wall and someone smashes it and like Filoni presses it and it breaks and the button goes weer, weer, and then some well, goofy looking Blossom fucking Kaiser cartoon character Autumn. drops in. Going do 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 I always love that Oh my tune, god, though. an ugly cartoon character. Thank god I recognize you from the show. Yay. You're here to save my investment. Well, that would be what everyone's waiting to see that we think of the attempt at telling a story while keeping you invested in all this Star Wars stuff. That's what we get in this episode, I'm sure. But before then, Looks right. like we're going to be jumping into a bit of episode three comment showcase. Ooh. Oh my god! Oh boy. <laughs> are we allowed? Are we allowed to do that for Mandalorian? What do you mean? Why not? I don't. I don't know. It's fine. I'm. I just wondering if it was allowed. You did it last time. That's fine then. You remember? You got, yeah. you got the old man brain. I really like that the sequence with him trying to touch the mountain peak, her telling him about it, showing him something he wanted, him getting up the courage to reach out for it, only to be shut down by the authorities, which it was clear she was setting him up for. It was a neat little episode in a scene version of their whole story. Yeah, pretty much. It's it's so strange, but unironically, that's like been the coolest Star Wars thing that I've <laughs> seen in a long ass time. <laughs> the the peak of the mountain on Coruscant is just a little tippy top poking through. That's legitimately the coolest Star Wars thing I've I've seen in a long time. Regarding this comment, this is the kind of thing that could be an accident, but with this episode, I think it's totally they they meant to do it. Uh, I think so, and, and that is yeah, very, that, so. that's really neat. I think that's a really neat thing that they did. Yeah, that little microcosm. We had fun show. robots. We had a mountain. We had glowing ice cream and the juggling sure robot on stilts. We yeah. learned more about the New Republic in this random, out of place episode of The Mandalorian than an entire trilogy of movies. Just because that's all it takes. Yes. Just in minutes, you can just tell us stuff. Show us stuff. Yeah. That's all you gotta do. There just hasn't been much of an interest in pretty much anything else to meaningfully explain what the New Republic is and how it functions. And yeah, so even even doing that for like 15 minutes <laughs> ends up giving you more material than we've had yeah. like at all. It was nice for our brains to just have something to chew on for once instead of just laugh. <laughs> like it's yep. like oh my god <clears throat> i love that when we cut back to mando there's a scene outside the cave where he explains everything we already know and then this, a scene inside the cave where he repeats everything we already know we could have just jumped straight to him handing over the water to the armorer to test and nothing would be different the scenes with the mandalorian tribe are just on autopilot yeah it's all yeah, time waste point. complete time there's waste a lot of just repeated information and what a um, I have what, bathed what? in the living waters. Din Djarin has bathed in the living waters. Yeah. <laughs> I was witness. I was witness. I am Bo Katan. It is insanely <laughs> slow. There are so few things to explain, and it has to be elaborated on again and again and again. It's like a John Wick script. <gasps> oh, you're not allowed to say that. Oh my God! Say it again. Mind. I take it say, back. Say it again. I regret. I I I meant. I meant. It's a different John Wick. It's a different Wait, John make the Wick. cool John Wick, not John Wick, Mandalorian sound effect so that people like, This oh. is the way. Woo! <laughs> After Book of Boba Fett was interrupted by season 2.5 of The Mandalorian, The Mandalorian season 3 is interrupted by Pershing season 1. And I, I think would watch uh, it. you floated that idea, Mola, that maybe because they had to put those Mando episodes in Book of Boba Fett to flesh it out. That's what happened here. You needed more, so they just they did the Pershing story as like a substitute. We'll see. Which we'll have a better picture once we see the whole season, right? Well, because a, a problem that we that really became clear by episode four is what what are we doing? Like, yeah. where are we going? The for a like... thrust of any kind for Mando. What is Mando doing? And it would be like, if, if this was the kind of story where nothing really happened, people just sort of went around and did stuff. But the people who did the stuff were, like, were interesting, interesting yeah. and fun 
and the action scenes were really well done, and there were some uh, god well, forbid stakes I mean, every once in a while. Like I'd be it, fine with that. There's something to be said about the prison sequence in Andor being its own story with a beginning, middle, and end that isn't necessarily directly connected to the main story. And yet, that's one of the best story beats in the whole show. Have someone that bounces off someone else because they're different kinds of personalities. That'll be enough for me. Just that. Just that alone. Yeah. Yeah. Like, if you had two characters and one of them was, sure, maybe a bit more stoic, but, you know, it was like a warrior sort of type. Maybe like a Drax kind of character. You know, he who kind of opens up every once in a while once he gets to know people. And the other person was like a sentient, sapient creature that could speak a, a language and understand what was you know, told to them and they had their own perspectives to give. That that might be neat. Remember but, the um oh well. the prison heist episode? They gave us Bill Burr, the like fast talking gunslinger, with uh, Clancy Brown, this like brute devil man who just fucking hits people. You had the girl who funny enough is this that actress is in John Wick Four. She's the Russian family boss piss. Mm. But she had she was really strange. I can't remember much beyond that characteristic. She was just strange. She had knives. Then you had obviously Mando being who he is. It's like this is this is a team of four that whenever a situation presents itself, they may all have different ideas about how to solve the problem or you know, like, they're killing people, and Mando's like, oh man, I don't know about that killing. I'm not, I, I don't know about... That's like, that's something. A heartbeat of some kind. I haven't gotten that for a while. I don't even like that no. episode. I think it's bad. It's just, you know, because remember they had the robot. Richard Iowati voiced him. He stayed on the ship. He was hacking things. It was like he was pretending to be a TV show. <laughs> it wasn't actually. Yeah. Like, look, here's these characters that interact with each other. It's like, what? Characters? Give me, give me more of that. <sighs> Anyway, back to free. I will always find it funny how they have, for some reason, made Bo-Katan a good person despite the fact she was introduced as a member of a terrorist organization that essentially forced Ahsoka into slavery in the Clone Wars. Uh, jeez. Oh. The problem with that is that they don't tell us any of this in this show. Yeah, it's not oh, relevant. Bo-Katan, like, was helping out Darth Maul, right? Like, and doing some crazy stuff. I just don't, oh, like, that oh, history, that yes. Not. I didn't, what? This, <laughs> this, this one, gonna, what? Like, none of that is in the show. The, yeah, she, made, made nobody's talked about anything, she hasn't talked about it. Nobody. So strange when this is a day for loading creation and he made the Clone Wars. Does he just not consider it relevant anymore? Because, oh, well, that was like 20 years ago in timeline, so who cares? Try and give people a little bit of mm -hmm. a bonus history, even if it is a part of the same continuity. You try and go, like, you have a character sum them up, or you say something about the things they've been doing lately. Considering they love their cam cameos so much, like, that you could have just do the flashback with Darth Maul or whatever. Yeah, I guess it's kind of odd. Yeah. Um, it's like, like oh, you would shit. totally forget your character's own history. Yeah, and really weird. Mando here could maybe talk about it. And you know what? That may still happen in this season. We've got four episodes left. Three? Four? We got four. Four. We're halfway. Oh boy, so exciting, the potential. It is truly <laughs> limitless. As many yeah. of us have forgotten, Mando actually is capable of swimming, as seen in the episode where he meets Bo-Katan, when he jumps in the water after Baby Yoda and swims back up, only to be blocked by the gate. So I don't even know how he sank at all, let alone that fast. So, yeah, I didn't recheck the scene, but I suppose that is yeah. what happens. Yeah. Maybe yeah. slipping is like when you fail a QTE, <laughs> and you, like, you feel your character should be able to do something. You just get but, paralyzed. I mean, you just, you You'll can't. You failed the QTE. Yeah. This is yeah. what happens now. <laughs> you rolled wrong, and so this is what this is being explained is happening to your character. <laughs> this one person on the Ando writing team got lost and wandered into the Mando team for a day or something. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. <laughs> I can imagine like the the act the adult you know, is just walking around and he opens the wrong door by accident, and then he steps into the writer's room for Mando, and it's just a bunch of drooling. <laughs> Doorknob liquors, <laughs> and they're just like, and then they say this is the way. Yeah, 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 yeah. all claps. Yeah. And he's like, actually, make him say it again. He's like Leonardo da Vinci transported in a time machine to the caveman <laughs> days, and he's trying to explain to them like what narratives are. Oof. <laughs> so I was curious to check the writer's work. That was a mistake. Uh oh, uh -oh. what do you mean? So he's got his one credit on Mandalorian. It's like, all right. And then he's got seven credits of writing on the Book of Boba Fett. No. <laughs> How? <He must> have, <laughs> That's a great that. question. He must, he must have been the one guy just try every day. He'd go in. Um, he, he's that character who's always like, damn, it, I keep telling you guys and no one listens to me. And you just won't let me do my thing. 
and then he finally gets his chance and he makes his thing and it's actually good and he was right the whole time wins the championship basketball team well hey man if he's written for two star wars tv shows then he's set to do the next avengers movie soon enough right that's true yeah <laughs> maybe this guy whoever this guy is man i hope you get i hope you get to just write just write the whole thing i'll just i'll just take it i'll just take it you write it specifically no, more interested in how you wrote uh, the Mando episode, not the Boba Fett stuff. That was awful. Never do that again. Just realized, Mando goes to Bo-Katan saying he's gonna go to Mandalore and asks about the mines in the same system as Mandalore, then goes to the Outer Rim where Tatooine is to get the droid, then goes back to the Mandalore system. I guess there's just no place to get droids uh -oh. in yeah. the Mandalore system at all. <laughs> like... You have I, to go to Tatooine. I guess, because um, if I need a droid to do some atmospheric testing, I don't go to, like, literally anywhere else. No. I go to Tatooine to a dirty shithole in the desert to talk yeah. to some scam artist to see if I can get some atmosphere testing robot. The idea that someone might say, yeah, he trusts her, or something, and be like, why? Why? Does he not trust anyone else he in the galaxy? bullshit. And she also steals from people, so fuck her. Anyway, <laughs> do you guys want to watch an episode of Mandalorian? I would love to. Uh, episode yeah. 5. I'm excited. Hell I've been on yeah. the edge of my seat ever since last episode. I'm also on a seat right now. Where did you come upon the Oh, dark it's Paz Vizsla! Oh, you can't ask people that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Remember when we did this? This was crazy. <laughs> Bo Katan Kreese. Bo Katan Kreese. I gotta stab Kreese. him with my knife because it's Star Wars. Dude, I am so fucking done with the blacksmith lady. <laughs> I fucking hate her so much. She's I so annoying. Her. I hope she's like that stormtrooper and she falls into her own <laughs> blacksmith thing and just goes, bloop, bloop. The worst thing we intend is to bow down to yet another far off bureaucracy. We are getting a lot of flashback here. Yeah. Well, this is getting to the point where it's just like, so uh, if you want to just watch the other episodes, that'll catch you up. <laughs> like, yeah. Okay. I remember, I'm guessing we're going to get serious consequences now for the pirates. Uh, the, 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 the thing that Grief Kaga said definitely five, won't happen. That's right. They'll be afraid of me. That's what's going to happen. Oh <laughs> my god, it's Pirate Lord. Lord. We're going to see oh. Gorian yeah, Shard. Pirate Lord Look at his fucking Shard. favorite Shard. Moss Man. Oh yeah, well what if I go really fast this yeah. way? Get yeah, get right. Give me that Fuck intro. You, but yes, you didn't Lucas that. film. Oh. Oh, uh, leave it to a show that people praise for being like a western to take all of the tension and excitement out of a gunfight all the time. I miss the same. The Back in the, the dumb. This lady is in there now. She's got her own little. She's appearance. so cool. I want a. I want a figurine of yeah, blacksmith lady. Are, what is even her name? Does she have a name? Oh my god. I don't know. She's the blacksmith lady. Oh no, Blum they still Shido. defaced the statue. Oh my god, that's so fucking <laughs> stupid. Let's move the trade district closer to the shipping terminals. Uh, let's, let's move the trade. How do you do that? District. How do you just district? move a district? <laughs> let's move the district. <laughs> let's just move a district closer to this. So it's <laughs> I'm really closer. good at my job. <laughs> I'm that way, when we walk, problems. you'll be faster. Like, has the magistrate uh, been drinking again? <laughs> Oh also, no, I is there the a crime? To go backwards. Is there a crime only he can solve? Oh. oh it's a giant ship. What took yeah. him so oh long? God, it's, yeah. pirate, it's Pirate Lord Gorian Shard's spaceship. Wait, why would the pirates be here? Oh, right, because we killed a whole bunch of them. Shall we begin negotiations? No, 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 no. If we buy them off, that'll set a bad precedent. Buy them off would be, well, I mean. What if they bought us off? <laughs> yes, of course, yes. Does he have like an army or military of like any kind? I'm gun? assuming not. Like a good you have gun. A gun you could point up? <laughs> Do you have a gun you could point upward? You know, wouldn't it be interesting world building to be like, oh, this ship wasn't designed to be an atmosphere because now it hey. weighs a shit ton? Exactly, yeah, but nah. The voice sounds like Grief Karga, Guildmaster of the Navarro. Oh, that Hunter. voice does but not fit him at all. The lip sync isn't great either, and I know he's a puppet doing the open clothes, but it's try like a little a PBS, harder. It's like an actual PBS show. Don't mistake my hospitality for weakness. Is that what you call gunning down my helmsman? He shot first. Oh, do you well, think that's, that's actually what happened? happened. Now I will shoot first. What is lame? He's like, no, I, you I have can't a right to. <laughs> I have a right to get you because of what you did. It's like, but he shot first. It's like, oh yeah. Well, I'll shoot first now. <laughs> like, no, none of that made sense. Navarro is now under the protection of the New Republic. Why would you he lie about that? I don't even know. I guess you have no reason. I mean, you might as well. 
But he knows. That would be information but, that would but be But maybe that'd be like a bluff. He's quiet. like, well, actually, no, we are. Your chart's out of date. Yeah. You can't bluff your way out of this one. I thought Don't you... hail me again. You hailed him, though. They did the uh, thing again. Did they? <laughs> did, did, seriously? I, I, I don't know, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, he was being hailed, Bring and now he says, don't hail me again. <laughs> no. You're being hailed, sir. Damn it! He got me! Holy fuck! Well... There's gonna be so many dead people. Now this is what we call consequences. Holy shit! Oh, wow. Oh, you fucked. Oh, wow. wow. Look at all of the dead people. All because you, you wouldn't let him drink in his school. <laughs> <laughs> the magistrate should have tried a little bit harder to negotiate. No, but he said if you kill them all, then they'll go away. That's what he said, so... The escape pod is ready. I will lead you to the launch site. I won't abandon my city. I won't abandon my city. Instead, I'll stay here and die. So he's gonna ask the, uh, Mando's army to come in and save everybody, right? Yeah, probably. Inst Mando's versus pirates, everyone. They don't have any everyone. guns. They really don't. They don't have a gun. Yeah, the Navarro Magistrate has, has no defenses, apparently. Why Let's run out to this here open when... field. <laughs> why wing I know them. No, nobody no one knows, knows what, what a Y-Wing is. is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is there like gonna, gonna be a crazy old Australian guy here who has a prop airplane with like a biplane? And he's gonna be like, Oi, I can get you across the desert. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Why? <laughs> Lively chatter is happening. Oh, it's that guy. Message came for you. Says the show sucks. I think the last time we saw him, he was talking to a uh, Gina Carrado character. He was t alluding to her like history. So I can't even remember what this guy's character even is, if he has one. He's the like Republic guy who just shows up every now and then. Yeah, I'm an character. <laughs> I'm humbly requesting the New Republic to send a patrol to clear out the Raiders. The situation is dire. One ship showed our up completely, and shooting. <laughs> our completely we... defenseless planet is about to be taken. They surpassed our defenses, which is this gun on my holster. And for this to Coruscant. They haven't returned a dispatch in weeks. They're swamped. Then I'm just gonna have to go there and talk to them myself. Okay, so the... <laughs> The message got to him from Navarro. Now he's going to take a trip to. Oh, so maybe that was the cameo for this episode. But yes, I guess he's. Oh, he's going to Coruscant. He's going I guess, to. to no, okay, so Navarro's fucked. They are currently yeah, under like... annihilation. This can't be okay. like a. Oh, in a couple of weeks we'll send this is, a unit. Yeah, this could be weeks later, months maybe. I don't. Yeah, I don't know how distance, long it took right? for him to get here. Or but days. The assault is over. <laughs> like, yeah, it's, it's, it's yeah. done. No, no, no. Do not put any more stuff on that part of the desk. That's my work area. I know that actor. He's in I stuff. recognize him from something too, but I'm not sure what. I think he's the principal in something. Principal oh, uh, Mean Girls. He was the principal oh, of Mean Girls. Oh, that could be it. Yeah, yeah. And you are? Carson Teva. Adelphi base. Adelphi? You're a long way from home. Oh, yes, don't sir. tell us that. Tell, tell us it was really that. close. <laughs> I know. Adelphi. I know. Wow, you I must have stepped is. just, just why, to the left. You were neighbors. Navarro. I haven't heard of it. The High Magistrate of the Capital City sent me this message. You should have emailed me this. <laughs> He's like, when was this recorded? He's like, three months ago. <laughs> oh I'm going down to the commissary. Can I get you anything? You spent some time in the Outer Rim, right? Have you ever heard of Navarro? Wow, you can't just ask oh, people. Oh, she's heard of it. I spent some time there, in fact. I know what that, uh -oh. that look means now, because of episode three. Was that yeah. They're not a member of planet. What does that matter? We can't leave them defenseless. They left themselves defenseless. <laughs> the military the budget was that gun. I don't think that this is an isolated episode. I think that's a bit of a leap. Really? Because I'm hearing Moff Gideon never made it to trial. Never made it to trial? We have a structure now. I work in requisitions, so let's focus on what you require. Wouldn't you say that if we don't deal with the pirates, that will embolden pirates to keep attacking people? I think he said they got a lot of stuff to deal with. What's more What's more important like this? Like, can't you send a couple ships to just like shoot a missile at it? Just send one X-Wing to hyperspace into it. I mean, I don't know. I actually think the, the requisitions man is kind of reasonable. He basically said that we've got a whole list of planets that need help. And the ones that uh, I'm dealing actually, with are the ones that are actually a part of the Republic. The Navarro hasn't joined yeah. us yet. What is the point of having planets? I guess it's because like the Met not them being priority, you know? It's hard to understand what he thinks the situation is. Like, does he understand they're currently being bombarded by guns at the moment, like right now? Or is it just like, hey, we're in trouble here, and it's just ambiguous, I don't know. like we need help? Because he didn't let the message it, finish. Yeah. And I don't think Grief Kaga made it clear enough in the message either. I'm not sure if he did. Maybe he did. I don't know. I, 
pilot, like, there's pilot a spaceship here and it's to, shooting its lasers. We're literally at the about to die. So many dead. Like, we're all <laughs> also, about like, to die. Pilot man needs to make a better case for these events being connected. He just says they are because they happen on the same planet. That I was actually going to ask what in the world made him think they were the connected. Desert? And is that the only reason he wants to do it as high priority? Is that he just thinks something weird's I going think on so. here? Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. not good enough. That's, that's legit just not no, good that, enough. That's definitely not good enough. Do they not have vehicles that they could have used? To, like, <laughs> no, they're just, just wandering the desert. desert. That's yeah. what they're doing. I'm the mayor. I'm still the mayor. By the way, I'm still the mayor. Did the pirates <laughs> not see them it's, escape like that? No. What a Maybe stupid them, fucking... Like, yeah, go out into the desert, live like the fucking Tusken Raiders. <laughs> <laughs> the ultimate victory. All right, a third of you will have to be slaves now. <laughs> this can't be the whole town. <laughs> 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 Man, I really regret coming to Navarro. <laughs> I don't know why I did. Uh, he is going to get oh, the Mandos. God. Get the Mandos. Yeah. How does he know? Th they're in hiding here, didn't they say? Like, nobody knows they're here. I beep, beep, boop, 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 boop. I'm sensing Mandalorians on the radar. I tracked <laughs> plot <laughs> armor, and this is the, the greatest concentration of it in the whole helmets. universe. <laughs> it's going be hilarious if the crocodile reach and snatch that. And then Yoda shows up, and he has to lift the X-wing out of the water. Dude, this guy being here, they have to leave now. They can't stay here. This is just... Yeah. It's done. Hello? Uh, this this Man, is the yeah. way? Hello? The fact that screen. he could just- he could just land so comfortably and none of the Mandalorians are gonna, like, gonna on fly him out and ambush him. him. Wee -wee. Yeah. He specifically the knows the cave where they're hiding. Yeah. He's so incompetent and stupid. Oh, they're really visible. You could they're really right see those. There. That's yeah, very easy right to there. see. Clear out, blue boy. Hey, you found my cave. Oh, is that Whoa. the way they defend the place? Clear out! New well, New Republic isn't cool. How did you manage to find us? Mandalorians pride ourselves on our secrecy. You can't pride yourselves on anything. <laughs> but you suck <laughs> at it. Fortunately, someone I served with in the rebellion is amongst your ranks. What? What? You uh, tracked that uh, droid? <laughs> the entire covert will now have to relocate. Or we could kill him. Well, no, because they well, there's no, no they reason to that think that, that the information scared. would have gone back to the Republic already. It's too late. This whole place is compromised now. If you think this is a secret, this guy's gotten here. It's too late. Yo, it's a fucking hollow message. You have to you leave. Think I'm gonna do? Think I'm gonna use my pistol and shoot all of you? I have to leave <laughs> the uh, island. I was about to say island. No planet. Oh, it's just the Mandalorians are so shit. They just show Navarro up at their cave. I just can't get over how funny Dude. that is. They're about to blow Navarro to hell. They're about to blow Navarro to yeah, hell. Yeah, they already did. <laughs> I'm calling a strike. We don't even have ships. Coruscant doesn't care. Why is this guy so obsessed with What's this particular the mission? The New Republic has to know that the Empire is growing again. This has nothing to do with that. But he'll be right. Something, Something doesn't right. smell right. We saw it all happen, though. The pirate king was just fight. mad that he couldn't drink at a school. Just, you say it so matter-of-factly, but it's true. That's exactly... Oh, here we go. Hey, Bo. Uh, Hi there. I walk like this so that my arms don't constantly bump against my pistols yep. that stick out <laughs> so far. You have my word. I will not reveal your location. That's shit. He's no, already yeah, come not... here. All the information will go to the... I'm sh I'm, I'd be surprised if he's a, not a, a, even allowed to make this trip without it being, like, logged. Now, many of you don't know Grief Karga. Oh, what are you slow. burning? Where did you get that wood? I'm fucking serious. And those that do fought against him. Oh, yeah. Grief Karga is one of the many people who shot at you guys back in season right. one. It's in interesting they remember that, actually. Since then, he's had a change of heart. Since then, he's had a change of heart. <laughs> and has risked his life to save mine, as well as the foundling in my charge. I don't care about the foundling, though. Yeah, None of us do. We've been entertaining <laughs> you this whole time, but, like, we have to put our foot down. Is he holding oh, the stupid crazy. blacksmith hammer? That's her emotional support Dash. hammer. It's the talking the stick. Talking stick, yeah. <laughs> I have the talking... <laughs> I have the talk. The enemy that decimated this very covert were Imperials. He's trying to recover from the fact that Grief Cog shot at all of them. Do you remember why that happened? Because Mando welched on the fucking his, deal. Man, yeah, his, he tried to steal back the... The baby yeah, and keep the money. Baby, yeah. He's a prick. So the Mandos are gonna resettle on Navarro. Probably yeah. a good idea, because this That's place is compromised. Does anyone else wish to speak? Oh my god, is that actually the talking hammer? It is the talking Oh my stick. god, it is. It's like a preschool. Uh, you guys are so, so fucking, fucking pathetic. Fitting. I do. Uh, oh my god, are you fucking He's kidding me? I was there on Navarro that night. Ugh. No, but he likes Mando now. Yeah, you saved my son. I You're a good man. Yeah. I saw many die to save the life of this one tiny foundling. So it was like, yeah. it's not my fault, dude. What's up with that? <laughs> it's like hey, a fucking robot. How do. many Mandalorians have to die for this random creature in a robe? Oh, uh, because this is the way. Because this is <laughs> the way. Say it, and then go, wee, wee, wee.
Come do on. It, cowards. Come on, do it. Because we are do Mandalorians. It. Close. Not quite. Say mm -hmm. this is the way now. I have had my disagreements with this man, but he risked his life to save my son. Isn't that like what you all do? Aren't you all risking your lives for each other all the time? Isn't that just what you're supposed to do? You don't get like special things for that. Man, this guy's going full on with the team Mando, huh? I don't care. I don't like <laughs> I mean, it's like, it's like it's pretending to be. There it is. There it is. He yeah. said it. This is the way. This is the way. <laughs> yeah, 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 you ever spent a cold night in a cave burning mystery logs and wonder, you know what? This way sucks. Well, you wouldn't be able to say that because you'd need the talking hammer. Navarro is an independent planet. It's that very independence that makes it appealing for you to say. Oh, really? It's the place where they all got killed before. Once, hiding in the sewers. Now you can hide in the sewers again. <laughs> now we've got this stupid fucking rule that only one Mando can go up at a time. That was oh my thing. god, look Everyone, at the city. Look at it's my man. Christ. I, he, That's gonna cost I, look, a lot I'm of gonna money say to it. Build. I don't think I don't think that he's gonna win re-election. Oh. Ah. Wow, I was literally but, serving that to you, you Yeah, dick. that's just food, guys. Why are you kicking the food to the floor? What's the point of that? Evil pirates. I don't like food. Food sucks and is dumb. I'm a pirate, so I, I, I just hate things. Yeah, Here's some grog. Drink a lot. We Look, we have drink grog. At the school. Yeah, we drank at the school. Ooh, this is just like old times, except it's destroyed. <laughs> Oh, the sound. Oh, no, it's one ship. Oh, look, anyway. a single fighter, <laughs> and then this it gets blown out of the fucking sky by this ship. There's a star fighter off our port bow. Why does that matter? Wow, you guys react fast. Why aren't you just instantly shooting any fighter not, that Do they not have turrets? You? Oh, they, well, they do have many, right? I do remember. Yeah. Uh, I could I, I, nobody was on I thought ships can detect fucking when another ship in the area comes out of hyperspace. Like, yeah. You can. That's literally um, a Star well, Wars rule that they've established. Sir, we're detecting a massive object emerging from hyperspace. Why was this so surprising to them? Because I like the ship. Three guns they have. have. And they're all gonna miss forever, by the way. Of course. Of oh, course. Yeah. Bold of you to return. Oh, it's that guy. He's so gonna Ooh. die. You wouldn't shoot me. I've got a baby on board. <laughs> it says a sticker on the back of a starship. Baby Why on board. would you shoot the Yoda? Oh, again. I, didn't I don't know. Again. Thanks for your help, Mando. That could have been sarcastic. Thanks for the help, dude. <laughs> I do not think I will How the? Damn this yes, one yes, ship yes, that's yes. going to destroy our entire operation. I really hope they don't have a second one. The coast is clear. Ah, oh, god damn it. Oh, but what about oh, all the other, the all other guns Mandos. on the bottom are gonna shoot you all? You would have thought they'd want to drop all the Mandos onto the main Corsair to, like, well, sort yeah, that out course. first. But now the Corsair is just gonna blow you all up with its big cannons. Well, that's the thing. Mando's one tiny ship is gonna annihilate that Corsair, okay? Everybody come and look! Oh. If only we Mandos saw Mandos are so cool! Oh, I got smacked. Oh no, I had a sword. Oh, look, that was so unnecessary. Well. He's inexplicably impossible He's against to shoot with all everything. of our guns. He's just. Yep. Oh, they're gonna go into the canyon, aren't they? Oh, we don't have to follow them. We just go back to the ship and wait. They'll never be able to tag any of you, ever. There's another ship, Captain! How did you not notice there was another ship? <clears throat> Because you know, he would detect them earlier if he was looking out the window and yeah. his radar. <laughs> They're fighting yeah. in a canyon, like Jay said, it's the land's asteroid field. You know, I don't think I'm a good enough nah, pilot to drive in this canyon. I'm gonna go up here. Yay, possible ambush. Take cover. Okay, that's an interpretation. The rat, the rat in the tree yeah. told us. I mean, why Hide are you guys? Why are they not using the high ground, like literally landing on rooftops and looking down? Yeah, I don't get it. That's too smart. This is Star Wars. The high ground is like 10 times damage. The high deck. Oh god, everyone sucks. Who cares if they tag him anyway? We'll just go bing, bong, bing, yeah, bing. Yeah. We're gonna see a single Mando die, do you reckon? I don't know. Oh, I want to get hurt. Like, he'll get shot in the ankle. Oh. Well, that uh, looked yeah, like he hit his armor, armor though. Yeah, yeah, it did yeah. hit his armor, but that one had a lot of force and he spun around. Oh, Except look, the guy he's here, and that means oh. that they win now. Pew, 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 pew. Tonga Commando with his oh, cash, they were standing Vizla, out in the open. and that mm. person. Where's the, uh, where's the blacksmith lady? She needs to be killing everybody with her hammer. The fans of blacksmith lady need to see her hit people with her hammer. This is so lame. What if mm. we just walk down the middle of the street and yep. shoot them all? That's that what would it always be exciting. Is. That's, that's action. Oh my god, that's, they must have brought that, because this was not a part of the defense budget for no. Nora. <laughs> oh, I'll get fucked. Oh, Imagine all, walking please. out into this open courtyard. 
I hope he died. I hope she died. <laughs> he won't die. He's too important. He, uh, he's, 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 special. he's fine. All he needs is one to jetpack up there and stop him, but they probably won't. It's gonna be some oh, other thing. Just... How do you miss? I don't understand. There's... I just, like, how are you so bad? Mando's just gonna do a surprise attack and kill them all. Yeah, of course. And then it'll go... Oh, literally yeah. that. Man, they're genius with these action scenes. He's <laughs> like he's killed them he's all. He's a better starfighter pilot than Anakin yeah. ever was. Yeah. Oh. Oh god. The fans will here. love it. Oh. You have a hammer and You're so stupid. You could be using here. a gun this whole time. You suck. Oh, oh come on. Oh. Wait, do you not have eyes, guys? Like ears, what even? Is, what the fuck? There you oh. go, then. <laughs> managed to kill them all with her stupid hammer. I can't believe she brought hammer and tongs. Yeah. <laughs> the tongs especially, like, damn. So I can grab them and pull them down with my tongs, like it's a salad bar These in fuckers here. fuckers as well be like, we're pinned down by that turret. It's like, why don't you just fucking fly up and get it? Anybody, yeah. hey guys, this is a, a city. whole city. We can just literally go around it safely. Oh, oh look, the, they've got their revenge now. What a heroic moment. Oh, what are you doing? Wait, what oh, happened? Yeah. How did you do that? Who even when is that? that was, was that? You shot it with a blaster I think it was just some rando. <laughs> what was just the rando random. doing? It's been a pleasure serving you, Captain. But it's time to part ways. Find you, coward! Now, have you seen these guys? They have the biggest yeah, they, plot armor ever. Yeah, can't win. You need to leave. They're you untouchable. Just can't win. Open fire below! Why have we not been doing that? Uh, they were There's a whole ground place. battle that we haven't been participating in. Why are you shooting all the rocks? No, shoot all the people. Targeting the townspeople. He no, clearly wasn't he's anywhere near the townspeople. The <laughs> yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, that was I'm, easy. I'm curious if this just lands on the fucking city and destroys the whole thing. We did it. We <laughs> saved the city. That's just okay. retarded. There's like a lady pointing a pistol at the back of the mayor. <laughs> <laughs> I like the idea he's gonna try and take credit for this. Thanks to my stunning bravery, I called for help and that's what saved us. Keep that in mind for next week's election. Thank you to our fine Mandalorian liberators. Well, Mandos just say, this is our town now. I hereby cede all land from the western lava flats to Bullock Canyon. Bro, you gave us Bullock Canyon? You may no longer have a home planet. Well, they do, yeah, actually. Yeah, we do. Yeah, they it's, do, they do. Yeah, it's what... It's, I thought we shit. spent, like, four episodes establishing that they do. I didn't even think of that. Why aren't they going back to Mandalore? It's, it's not poisonous. Let's go there and start planting things in the ground. Building things. Mind we the best actually not care about Mandalore anymore. They like, established was it was done? not poisonous, and that was the only reason they couldn't go there. We yep. spend all that fucking time to have them live here? Are you fucking with me? Where's he going? <laughs> He's looking real sad today. Well, it's because the actors can't fucking see where they're walking because there's oh, dumbass yeah. helmets. Super dangerous. <laughs> uh, this back in the, the sewer. Oh, that's where they're going. Oh, cool. Oh, look, it's oh, like episode one. It's, yeah. Remember when we lived here and it sucked? We've well, we can so do it far. again. All right, how long is this conversation going to go on for? And how much will we gain from it? This was once the forge of our covert. Yeah, we knew that. I have been to the great forge on Mandalore. You can go back there now. It was large and ornate. You like how she didn't even clear off the spider yeah. webs? <laughs> and here stood a simple one. Yet, they were both forges. They were People both forges. Whoa, we really are spending a while. Jesus Christ. <laughs> they saved the same, but yeah. Yes, they're, that's why we call them forges, you dumb bitch. God damn. <laughs> Remove your helmet. But... Do you respect my station? No, not even a little bit. Is this a trick? Is this actually a trick? <laughs> Are you, you fucking with me right people? now? Are you, are you fucking with me? Why is she doing this? What is yeah, going I on? This is the, want to this is the number helmet. one rule. You can't do that. Why You're do you cheating. want to keep this helmet on? It's shit to keep your helmet on. You're not following Why the way. Why would you want to? How come your hair looks that good? You've had your helmet on this whole time. <laughs> All sweaty and gross. Our people have strayed from the way. We must walk it together. This is the way. Yeah. Why is she like, saying this is the up. way? Why did she get converted in like a day? We must walk the way together. Oh, Mandalorians. So she can hang out with these fucking losers. This Bo-Katan, <laughs> she had a castle. Did she have a life before this? <laughs> she had a castle and a blue robot. I was taught that the Mythosaur existed only in legends. And yet, you saw it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Say something interesting. Maybe if anybody slipped in the living waters, they'd see it too. It is a sign 
But the next age is upon us. It's a sign the next age is upon us. Andalore must all come together. And yeah, this can will do have it. no bearing on the you sequel trilogy whatsoever. <laughs> about Mandalore the being important or anything. Us. You've been in two what? shooting groups. Uh, because she saw a mythosaur, apparently. Wow, that was a <laughs> fucking snail's... That that was, uh, uh, that was a long conversation where virtually nothing was accomplished. Why did she talk about the forges? What did that have to do with anything? I don't know. Because, I don't know. I, because did you know that two forges can be different but serve the same purpose? Did you know they're yeah, two different the books? Point. You took the helmet off, you bitch. We hate you now, right? And then the Forge Lady goes, no, I told it to. And they're all like, what? Is there going to be what? a big unhelmeting? We get to take our helmets off? off? <laughs> I'm Spartacus. Okaton Kreez is going off to bring other Mandalorians in exile to us. Where do we start so looking? Are the the they as good at hiding as you guys are? Because if so, I'll need an afternoon. That's it. Walks both worlds. When did you change the rules? Yeah, you could just... Changed the rules. Did they just say this because they wanted to make sure she could have, like, FaceTime? Yes, yeah. absolutely, yes. I mean, that's exactly why, but I figured it might it's as fine. well. We could change the I entire, love that. Like, the the fundamental stuff. retarded rule has just been changed. And it only yeah. applies to bo -Katan. sorry. No, what do you mean, go now? There's it. nothing go there! there. <laughs> I'll pop the spaceship in front of you and travel there. Why? Why are you standing there like an idiot? Why do you I think that's know. exciting as well? Oh, you oh, just Moff noticed Gideon, that? Right? Your radar sucks. Yeah. So oh yeah, Gideon this will have to have something to do with Moff then. Gideon, because yeah. we haven't actually heard anything from him. Oh, Wait, wouldn't there yeah. be like a huge investigation as to where he went? Absolutely, yeah. Him? What ship is this? Whatever they're about to tell us, it's not going to make sense. <laughs> I'm sure of it. Did you just stumble across this? I was yeah. about to ask yeah, how how they found this, but yeah. it's in space. You're it's not going to bump into things in space. Well, it's pretty small. There's a record of a missing craft in the region. The details are classified. R7 launch probe. Oh, look, they have probes. Launch probe. <laughs> That's useful. Better be careful with that show. You'll forget oh, that. Oh, the and little top thing switch. pops off, and that's the probe. Okay. okay. That, I mean, oh, look how useful whatever. this is. You can do all kinds of scans with that. It's a New Republic prison transport. Flight times match the ship transporting Moff Gideon. He never made it to trial. How did you? Why would you want it? It would be like on the news and make. everything. So Moff Gideon escaped, he and nobody knows. Yeah. This was an extraction. I. What is going on? I'm only seeing the remains of the flight crew. Well, wait till the scan's done. Fuck yeah. Me. It's a fragment of Beskar alloy. No, <gasps> it was Mando's. Moff Gideon was taken by Mandalorians. It wasn't a frame well, job, of course. We'd never well, no, because that. the Empire had Beskar too. Remember? Loads of people have Beskar or access to it, but there's also just the idea that they might have tried to frame them by doing that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why? Why would there be Beskar alloy in the wall, embedded in the walls? John. John. <laughs> <laughs> that just, was just to just to clarify, right? Shit. Gideon gets captured. He's put on a transport ship ready to face trial. He never turns up. And then everyone just goes, mm. did he make it to trial? Don't know. <laughs> yeah, like, how when uh... you're writing the script, do you not... He's going to trial. He didn't turn up. And nobody cares. <laughs> okay. Yep, and then when you find out a ship that's been attacked is Moff Gideon's, oh, he didn't make it to trial. It's like... D I don't understand the logic. Of course he didn't show up. You know that he didn't show up. He didn't. Like, he just I'm didn't. Therefore, he didn't. Therefore, why does anyone yeah. know this? I don't know. Exactly. That's... And then it's a surprise to find out that he didn't when you find evidence that he didn't, even though you knew he already didn't because he didn't. That was that was actually... Ooh, was that the worst episode of the season? Is it between this one and the last one? Two was really... Oh, four. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah. Episode, episode one was awful, was by the really... way. <laughs> episode one, one was really bad. There's um, only one episode that's safe. It's three. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. It's three, yeah. 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 Oh. I guess we got to see that connect in a tiny bit, but not a whole lot with uh, Officer Yeah, Lenny I mean, she seems to be up. trying to sabotage the attempt to help Navarro, which means she probably is Empire affiliated at this point. I think I would have preferred the ladder climbing thing, but oh well. What oh, is that even boy. say? What about, is there to like, say? Yeah, I don't know. Do with, yeah. with Navarro. Like, Navarro gets attacked by the big pirate ship, and there's a town that's got like 100 people in it and no defenses whatsoever, which is interesting that you didn't think that that would 
would be worthwhile to invest in being an independent, isolated outer rim planet. Like, it might be worthwhile to actually, you know, like you invest. Could have given in them defenses. one anti-air gun or something. And be like, yeah, yeah, the fact that they have no anti-air well, gun like, or any ships at all. Grief Kaga didn't do anything to have defenses. He literally had no defenses at all, except his own no, pistol. No, his, his only defense. No, exactly, the budget went to the statue. He knows, the robot. Even though he knows the pirates have ships. Like, he has to know that. How yeah. do they and get around? And he pissed around? them off, something fierce. Like, I don't know why he wouldn't have expected... And he figured they won't mess with... Like, how wrong was he when he said they know that Navarro's respectable and not to be trifled with? Well... <laughs> it turns out it's actually the opposite. They're very easy to trifle with. <laughs> Good In thing. fact, they're basically asking for it. Good they're asking for trifling. Grief Karga is friends with Mando, and then Mando and bo using their small fighters take down the giant ship. If you yeah, this is all really incredibly lucky for Reddit. him, if you think about it. Like... Holy shit. Oh, yeah, of course, because, like, the only reason Mando knew what was happening was because a very specific individual received the message, and then that guy knew exactly, like, where to go to find Mando because of the droid that he bought from Lady on Tatooine. If he hadn't bought that droid, that would have been a dead end. They, they just would have been screwed. If he hadn't bought that droid, if they had managed to fix the IG unit, then the town would have actually been destroyed. Isn't that interesting to think that the hero of the town who had his own statue, if they were able to actually fix him up, he would have been essentially the cause of their undoing because they wouldn't <laughs> have had the spy droid to help New Republic Man find them. Yeah, and, uh, and to be fair, bo wouldn't have been involved in any of it, potentially. If you have IG-11 yeah. with him... I don't think... He wouldn't have been ambushed and killed. Yeah. Well, he, if you remember, you, that you, fucking droid is an annihilator. It might be worth emphasizing that, that, yeah, the fact that they can't fix the IG unit enables the whole story to happen. And we haven't <laughs> fixed it Remember how that yet. was going to be a plot to fix the well, IG Well, it will unit. be. It will be, for sure. I guess sure. they can pick There's it up no whenever way. the fuck they want. Well, I mean, we saw it here with the pirates, right? It picked up however many months or weeks after Mando first showed up, because it seems he's been with the Mandos for at least a little while, right? And I guess, yeah, we, we are doing something with Moff Gideon. But also now, Ooh. I guess, our threat is that Bo-Katan like... is going to go venture out into the world to get more Mandos, even though the reason why she lost the Mandos is because she didn't have the Darksaber and she still doesn't. <laughs> so what's her plan? Because the reason why she was able to- it's actually hilarious she didn't realize that. The reason why she was able to get these Mandos on site is because she adhered to their culture, basically. She actually did the whole thing of, this is the way you keep the helmet on. Now, she's off to go get her people who have a different culture, and she doesn't have the cultural emblem that she needs to actually unite them. She might as well just take it from Mando. And then just say, yeah, no, I, I got it, or something. Yeah, she doesn't yeah, have to follow those back. rules anymore? Or does she? I guess it doesn't matter. She They're doesn't not even have rules. to follow the rules because Let's they stop. want to give her uh, FaceTime. Yeah. You shouldn't mm -hmm. even be called rules. They're just like, it's like a well, yeah, of well, the day, but guidelines. Barely even guidelines, isn't it? If it's just I, like, I would, I would yeah, leave. Uh, I'd be so though. upset that I've been keeping this fucking helmet on for this long. This new girl comes in, and apparently she can just take it off Years. whenever she wants. If these guys are actually people, because they're not. If it, Just imagine being one and you go, hey, 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 uh, Amara, so so why is she special? And it's like, she saw the great Mythosaur. And it's like, okay, so those are extinct as far as everyone's concerned. Yeah, and they're giant, so like, horseshit. monsters. Also, like, so the... where, where did she see it? How did she see it? And it's like, well, when she went to... She dived into the living waters and she said she saw it. And she's like, she said she saw it. Anyone see it other than her? No. I have an idea. Let's all hmm. go to Mandalore now and it's check dead. it out. I just, uh, I don't know, man. It's like, you. she gets the greatest benefit of all time. You even said that she's basically going to lead both both teams all together because she claimed something that can't be proven. You know what? Yeah. I just had an idea. I've seen the Mythosaur. Yep, I yeah. saw it over there. Uh, it's not there now, though. Sorry, so, uh, this those. helmet of mine, oh, getting a little... A little hot and sweaty under here. Do you mind if I, uh, you know, yeah, my hair's getting really greasy in my hair. Oh, do you, oh, dude, do my, you my think we, we will we will have to have to do a fight scene between Mando and Bo Katan so she can get the dark saber back? She's and Mando's gonna be like, oh, you can win, and she'll be like, well, they're oh, building her up now really to be win. a cool new deuteragonist almost. It wouldn't be su yeah. surprise me if they experimented with giving her a, like a POV episode in this season. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe that'll be what the next episode is. Might be. Split Though, it half I mean, and half. I, I wonder how much her history is going to factor into it, the more that we hear about her crazy history and, like, Clone <laughs> Wars and stuff. <laughs> and I don't even like, know if that's something I want or not. That's the thing. I'm just... Um, I mean, it's probably going to be really catastrophic to deal with the notion that, like, Bo-Katan might have been partially responsible for Mandalore's downfall, and then now it's just, it's all getting, like, swept aside because she's the cool character who's going to get to go on all these crazy I, adventures. I imagine... 
It's not necessarily that they'd swoop aside, it might be that Dave's gonna be like, isn't it poetic? She's the one that binds them all together after she kind of led to his downfall. Oh, uh -huh. well, then I'd say, well, sure, but we're gonna deal with that, like, in terms of- That is of dealing with it, we're done. There you go. It, it, it might be a conversation, and they say something I like, don't even oh, know. yes, at Mandalore there was a door, and this room also has a door, but it is smaller, but it is both, they are both used for the transversal through walls, and then that's the conversation. That'd be great. Mm. I'd love that. It's some doors are big and some doors are small. It's feeble storytelling. Well, we, just keep, yeah, like... we just keep ignoring the whole time thing. It's just like, we're here now, there now. And then one, the, oh, one, yeah, of the, right, and then one of the characters even goes, "Oh, you're a long way from home." It's like, why? Why did you like do that? Weeks away? <laughs> like already? Weeks, is it weeks? Days? I don't know. You get the message. Oh, help! We're being attacked. Okay, let me fly over there somewhere and talk to this random guy who's like, "Oh, we don't have resources." This is all I can give you. And then he takes the time to go to whatever planet they're on. It's like, hey, your friend is in danger. Okay, bye. And so he just kind of assumes they will go help him. And they do, luckily. Yeah, for and then Navarro. he's done. He's just out. He's going to go look out. around. In my headcanon, at least half of the people that were that we see there in the desert, they died of thirst because they've been there for like four weeks. I wonder about the, like, the Lucasfilm sort of story groups and stuff, just fucking panicking every single day, thinking about what movie they might make. And then meanwhile, they're like, oh my god, there's been three seasons of that Mandalorian thing. What are you guys doing? And John Favreau's like, uh, you know, Moff Gideon, he's defeated, and then he's still around, he's defeated, and then he's still around, because he's just... He's the guy from Breaking Bad, and people like the guy from Breaking Bad being a bad guy. That's all we really got. Oh, you building towards anything? Yeah, I've been dropping quotes and, and sort of clues about cloning, which will be for Snoke, I guess. Got that. Mm -hmm. Palpatine. Both. We have had five episodes of a TV show. We're five episodes in and done. Think about five episodes of Arcane. Chernobyl is five episodes. That's it. That's the whole thing is just five episodes. Five episodes of House of the Dragon. That's all the past I've... episodes done, I think. And and then you look at this. What have you accomplished in five episodes? I think, I mean, time for time. Well, I mean, is the whole Lord Everything. of the Rings trilogy, is it? <laughs> I mean, if you have five, I mean, the let's say the Lord of the Rings is what, like three and a half hours each, something like that. I mean, we're we're starting to push it to where we're getting, you know, to that length of content and, you know, Mandalorian. We saw it in that final scene, like one of the biggest problems with this show is that you can have a scene that lasts for way longer than the contents of the scene itself. It like how much information are you getting? Yeah, the scene with her and the blacksmith lady, that scene was what, two, three minutes? And how much information was conveyed? Like, fuck all. It was barely anything. There's so much And I don't even know what it means. Script. It's so long and drawn out and stretched and slow and yet a comp... Like, what are they talking about? How come I'm always asking these questions? Three minutes. Nothing is clear. Almost exactly from the start and end. And we discover that she's just like, you're going to unite the Mandalorian clans now. And she's like, oh. Uh -huh. Okay. That's all that we gain from that scene is, yeah, you're you're super cool. You're gonna no reasoning, okay. no character, no, not really much character. Just well, plot, really. I was about to say not much. There was no character because I don't even like. I'm starting to have a harder and harder time of even understanding who Bo Katan is, which is kind of odd. I thought I had an understanding. It wasn't a very you know thorough one. But like it's it's starting to erode more and more. It's almost like she's starting to slip into protagonist syndrome of like what Mando is. Yeah, she's of just, just here. kind of here, and you do the things that people tell you to do. Yeah, there's no three thrust. Minutes is, three minutes is a long time. There's no three fire. There's no fire in the show. Nothing feels alive. It's all dead. It's just sort of treading water. This is a thing that we want to keep going, probably because it's important to Disney Plus as a platform. But like, as for any broad, because I mean, what are we even doing with like Grogu at this point? Like, what? What? He's, He's just, just sort of around. around. Well, He's he just, jumped it, up and down last episode and hit the sure guy did. with the paintballs. It's just kind of, that was great. It's, it's kind of fascinating, though, isn't it? Because in the first two seasons, there was some sort of narrative thrust of, well, we got to get, you know, Baby Yoda to his home, wherever that may be. Mm -hmm. But then they gave up because they needed him in this show because merchandise. And now he's just here. We're not really doing anything with that character anymore. And we're not even doing much in terms of the dynamic between Mando and Grogu anymore. Nope. It's basically... No. Nope. It's gone. The arc is over. He loves Grogu, and he's going to take care of him by putting him in dangerous combat Rage. situations. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And that's, that's the way. He takes him with him on all of his crazy action missions, but he absolutely I mean, should never do that. Mando does it. His arc is complete as well, right? It's like, I'm going to deliver baby Yoda. Up, oh, no, I'm not. I'm going to take care of him. Oh, but now I need to go be redeemed. Now I'm redeemed. Well, you forgot the third arc. I don't like droids. Oh, I like them. 
Oh uh, yeah, that's yeah. right. It might be one of the funniest like things to teach in a class ever. Like how, what what an arc isn't actually, but what pretends to be an arc. Like this shit is yeah. childish. Like I hate droids. And none of that made any sense. It was never supported by anything other than a kind of foundation. Droids killed his parents. Like, okay, that's something. But you understand what droids are, right, Mando? You know what they are as technology, and like, how far does this hatred go? I know we talked about this back in the day. But it was like, do you hate toasters? Do you hate <laughs> like <laughs> Homer's automatic hammer? Would that frustrate you? I don't know. And then of course it's all dropped because one of them helped him out, and it's like you didn't you didn't know that was a thing. You didn't know droids could help people. No. Yeah. Do you feel this way about spaceships and guns? I bet you don't feel this way about guns. Oh yeah, you that was really that dumb, and it's done, and they yeah. just never given him anything else. It's just around. Yeah, because that was all he had, and now, now it's nothing. Now he... It's unreal to compare bad. this to Andor, but you have to, right? <laughs> Isn't it incredible just it how is. bad Disney Star Wars has been, like, in its totality, with the exception of something like Andor, that almost, in my mind, I don't even count as, like, should belonging be... to any of this. To be reminded for everybody that if you combine all of the Andor intros, it creates like a different track and visual. Yeah, and Andor had so many characters with their own stories going on and all tying into like a broader thing. Remember how awesome Mon Mothma's story was? Dude, I just love Luthan. I love the idea of that character. And then I love that Stellan Skarsgård is playing yep. him. How bad has Disney Star Wars been? Seriously. Like, <laughs> I feel like this episode is just making me ponder like how awful it's been. And like Mando is like losing steam. Whatever innate appeal this this concept had is like eroding. I don't know. I feel like nobody cares about this show anymore. <laughs> You know? And harder and harder, like, and they're not building anything up with the brief time they had in the sun, and that's why it's like fucked now. They had so much goodwill that came out of nowhere. They did, but I mean, at this point, like anything that I have interest in in terms of like Star Wars is going to be something like Andor that's totally divorced from it. Well, yeah. And if Taika Waititi that's did a Star Wars it. movie, the first question you have is like, is this Love and Thunder or is this Jojo Rabbit? Just let me know. Right, because I don't, I don't quite know what it looks like for Taika Waititi. To I don't know how much well. he'd care. I wonder if you'd see oh, it as like, only... oof, dollars, dollars, and well, I can I mean, make my own well, shit. The, the only baseline we have is that Ragnarok, which was a big studio project, we have that, but then we also have the episode he directed in season one, the finale, which was just like Terrible. really shitty, and Thor: Love and Thunder. So I don't know. Out of the three big like studio projects he's done, two of them didn't turn out so well. So I don't know. I got to see Mandalorian know. shooting pirates and attaching the grappling hooks to pirates, and then doing a big minigun mm -hmm. shoot to pirates, and, and then, then hitting the pirates the, with the my Smith Smith with hammer. With yeah, the, yeah, that was. Or that's embarrassing. Was so the sad show to watch. was so predictable, and yet at the same time. It sort of blows your mind in new ways. What's the thing, man? When we're watching this, a lot of us are like, and then this happens, right? And then it does, and you're like, yeah, because that's like the first thing you think of in the writing room, and then you go, hmm, that's pretty predictable and lame. Maybe we can come yeah. up with something else. You could have, uh, like, tried... You could have tried to be clever and failed, and that would have been interesting. Like, when they wrote well, this uh, yeah. aerial flight, like, battle scene, they're like, all right, so Manda will go in first and distract the big Corsair away from the whole town, and then bo will come in and drop all the Mandos, and then they'll just assault the town and eventually beat the pirates, because we'll have... I'm, I'm not even too concerned about that. It's over back over to the Corsair. He sends out all of his starfighters to get Mando. It's like, oh, that'll definitely get him, right? And then Mando's like, haha, I've drawn them away now, and so bo can attack the Corsair, I guess. And then he's like, nah, come back my small ships and go after her like whoa look at these chess moves these are incredible and it's just like and then surprise mando gets them from behind it's like oh so they all just forgot he existed that's that that's the big reveal that's the fun of that scene that's it because you know that you need like a surprise variable that does some cool action or facilitates it and in in the aerial stuff, it was just all the good guys, the bad guys forgot that mando existed and then in the in the ground scene it was just the blacksmith showed up and hit people with a hammer, which they've done like four times, I'm pretty sure. She does it in that s the episode one. She did it in um, the finale for season one, where she's just- Do you remember that when a bunch of stormtroopers surrounded her? And we were all like, what the fuck is this? And then she just like killed them all with her stupid hammer and tongs. Yeah, I do. I do remember that. How many times oh, are they going to do this? When the stormtrooper went into the forge. It, it, the small one, not the really big one that's that, that's ornate on Mandalore. Mm -hmm, it's just mm -hmm. the little tiny one. But they, but they function the same. But they're both forges, though. Yeah. They function, yeah, they, they serve the same function. But that we know that. Um, yeah. 
Uh, but and the stormtrooper fell in, and I want the show to fall into a glowing hot forge. That would be neat. And I want it to melt away, and maybe with they're gonna luck, get like another five in... seasons of this oh. bullshit, Rex. It's, oh my it's god, gonna, we've had five episodes. We've done this five times already for season. <laughs> How three. many times does it feel like we've seen this episode? Uh... More than halfway through the season. And what's to be said? I need to be redeemed. I need my robot. Oh, I'll get a different one. Oh, now I'm on Mandalore and I. It's okay. I've been redeemed. And now I'm hanging out with my my buddies on Mandalore. And now I'm hanging out here. And someone's like, well, who's your favorite character? And you're like, Dr. Pershing. Dr. Pershing? <laughs> like, yeah. Make it end. Are you sure, Metal? <laughs> he wishes my command. Bye, everyone. That was Mad of Episode 5. Bye, everyone. Well, I just want to say, was signing off to Pirate Lord Gorian Shard. He was not much yep. of a Pirate Lord. Kind of sucked, <laughs> Yeah, actually. Kind of sucked. What'd you bring me?